the KXY4 News official Hoop Fest tip-off special. Derek Dice and Robin Nance will be live at Nike Center Court with everything you need to know to get ready for the weekend, including those big changes to the park. Chris Crocker also uh, will bring you up to the minute Hoop Fest forecasts and we'll reveal the winner of our best team name bracket challenge. Now the fun continues tomorrow with team check in from 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. at the pavilion. Remember the family fun zone and food fest will be in the clock tower meadows. Uh, Hoop Fest Toyota shoot off happening at 7. We're reiterating uh, some of these points because they are big changes. And then Saturday on KXY4 News from 7 to 8.30 a.m. I'll be working that show. Make sure you watch our special edition from Nike Center Court with Melissa Luck and Dennis Patchen at 5 and 6 p.m. Again, exclusive coverage from Nike Center Court. We are your official Hoop Fest station. We're just a few days out from Hoop Fest and for the second straight year, the alumni game. Last year, Zags versus Zags. This year, Bulldogs versus Huskies. So every day this week, we're catching up with former Zags who you'll get to see in action once again on Friday night. And good morning from Nike Center Court. One of the big changes coming to Hoop Fest this year, as well as team check-in at the U.S. Pavilion. It starts at 2 p.m. Uh, this afternoon. We also want to remind you, KXOI, your official Hoop Fest station, will be bringing you exclusive coverage from Nike Center Court. And that starts tonight with the tip-off special with Rob Robin Derrick and Chris Crocker bringing you up to the minute forecast for Hoop Fest weekend should be a beautiful one. Well, get ready. Hundreds of thousands of people will head downtown for Hoop Fest this weekend, and it's already beginning. Well, the action begins tomorrow with the alumni game at the Spokane Convention Center. Former players from Gonzaga and UW face off. Doors open at 5, tip off at 7, tickets just 20 bucks. Live from Nike Center Court in downtown Spokane, KXLY 4 News and your local Toyota dealers present the Hoop Fest tip-off special. You are getting your very first look at a major change to Spokane's premier event, a brand new location for the heartbeat of Hoop Fest out of Riverfront Park and into the heart of downtown Spokane. With 450 courts throughout downtown Spokane, there is action everywhere you go during Hoop Fest. But one of the most exciting places is at Nike Center Court for the Toyota shoot off. And that's where we find our Derek Dice this morning, who is trying his luck with the half court <laughs> shot. I haven't had any warm-up shots yet, Robin. I hope just not to embarrass myself like I did on Sunday at the Spokane Indians game. But, hey, we're joined now by Eric Hickson of the local Toyota dealers. Eric, you've been doing this Toyota shoot-off for quite some time now. Talk about just uh, how fun this event is for the folks here at Hoop Fest. You know, it's a great time. It adds a different element to Hoop Fest. Gives people a chance to drive home a brand new Toyota. And we raise a lot of money for the charities of Hoop Fest. So, good, good stuff. Yeah, for the folks that don't know, you're shooting a half-court shot for a chance to get entered into the finals to win that car, correct? That, that's correct. For $10 donation to the charities of Hoop Fest, you get three attempts to make the half court shot. If you make that, you're qualified to come back Sunday afternoon. We line up everybody who qualified, and at that point, all of those folks go into a last person elimination contest, and the last person standing wins the brand new 2017 Toyota 86. Well, let's give a shot. If Jim can pan over here real quick, let's give a shot if we can at this Toyota. Uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful car. I'm going to set the mic down for a second again. As I told you, Robin, no warm-up shots yet today, so let's Let's see how this goes from half court. Good. Boy, it looks fine. The distance, not terrible, but a little bit uh, off the mark. I will look to do a little bit better later today. This is what you can win here at the uh, Toyota shoot-off at Nike Center Court. Coming up in the next half hour or so, we'll talk with a guy who actually won a Toyota here at the shoot-off two years ago, and we'll talk uh, more about the shoot-off as well coming up here as we continue our Hoop Fest coverage all morning long here on Good Morning Northwest. Live at Nike Center Court, I'm Derek Dice, KXOI 4 News. It's a sweet ride, Derek. Thanks, we'll check in again. But one of the most exciting places is at Nike Center Court for the Toyota shoot off, and that is where we find our Derek Dice, who's been trying his luck, and you had some luck this morning. <laughs> 
I've made one from half court out of about 20 or 25 attempts. So uh, Cliff Poffenroth, the guy who won two years ago, he did make one off camera uh, just moments after he was live on the air with us. But the Toyota shoot-off is always one of the biggest attractions here at Hoop Fest, and we are joined now by Eric Hickson of your local Toyota dealers. Now, typically, Eric, you've been along Spokane Falls Boulevard, kind of near the fountain. What do you think about this new location here on the Bennett Block? You know, it's really grown on me. Um, I like the, the urban nature of being more against the buildings. Um, and I think that the setup's going to work really well for the flow this weekend. like being in the park, too, but it's always good to change things up. You know, Toyota's been a, a big part of Hoop Fest for a long, long time now. Talk about uh, just your relationship with uh, the biggest three-on-three -three basketball tournament in the world. Been a, been a fabulous relationship. Uh, the local Toyota dealers do a lot in the community. This is a great fundraiser for the charities of Hoop Fest. Uh, but I think this is our 20th year that we've been involved um, as far as uh, being down here and doing the Toyota shoot-off and executing executing it, making somebody really happy on Sunday afternoon, and raising money for the community, the charities of Hoop Fest. All right, 10 bucks for three shots, uh, three cracks at it from half court. You've seen a lot of people shoot this shot over the years. What, in your mind, what's the best way to go about it? Practice, practice, <laughs> practice. You're not going to win this car by throwing slop shots. <laughs> right. All right, Eric, thank you very much. We look forward to another great uh, Toyota shoot-off uh, coming up here this year at Hoop Fest. Well, you know, center court isn't where all the action is. We are gearing up for the alumni game between former players of GU and UW. That starts in less than an hour. KXY 4's Keith Oso and Will share it at the Spokane Convention Center with exclusive live coverage of the big game. Hey, guys. Hey, Nate. Hey, Dean, earlier we had some really young kids out here playing basketball. They could have beat Will and I pretty handily. Now we got some kind of older high school age kids. They wouldn't even be close. We're a little worried the ball comes out here. We're going to get run over, and it's not going to end well for the two of us. Well, Saturday, be sure to start your day with Kicks Hawaii 4 News. We are broadcasting live from Nike Center Court from 7 to 8.30 in the morning. Watch the opening ceremonies. You can get the up-to-the-minute forecast and get yourself pumped up for a very busy day of game action. Opening ceremonies at 7.55 at 8 a.m. Hoop Fest 2017 officially gets underway. Those first games getting started. And then at 2, you can see the Seagulls perform at Center Court and then watch qualifying rounds of the Slam Dunk Con. Contest, great high flying action. And as you get home, we'll relax and nurse those sore muscles and tune in to KXY4 News for live broadcast from the first day of action at 5 and 6 p.m.